Another hurdle cleared in the effort to legalize civil unions in Colorado. The full Senate giving initial approval to that measure. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez sitting in on the debate. And Lance, this was both emotional and heated. Hours, Teresa. Afterwards, the sponsors hugged each other and shed a few tears. And with both houses of the legislature controlled by Democrats this year, there's a very good chance that bill could end up on the governor's desk. Well, third time's a charm. Senator Pat Stedman, who lost his same-sex partner to cancer last year, describes the bill as very personal and one of the reasons he got into politics. This bill is about life and it's about death. And it's about everything in between. The bill would allow same-sex couples to codify legal relationships at the county clerk's office. Opponents say it will lead to the worst form of government policy. That which takes rights away from some in the process of granting them to others. Republican lawmakers worry that it will require some churches to open themselves to same-sex ceremonies. That is just uh, unbelievable to me that we would run roughshod over people's religious liberties to such an extent. Stedman says the bill doesn't reach into any church, mosque, or synagogue. Showing the heightened emotion of the debate, he says people who claim their religion requires them to discriminate should get themselves to a nunnery. Go live a monastic life away from modern society, away from the people you can't see as equals to yourself. And the bill's co-sponsor was more subdued, saying civil unions will bring about equality. Making it possible for all of those who've been on the outside of the law, who've been on the outside of justice, will now be become valid partners in the law of the state of Colorado, and that's justice. Now, Republican lawmakers tried to amend the bill to allow for a religious exemption and, and to exempt adoption agencies. Both of those attempts failed. Now, this bill advances to third reading in the Senate next Monday. At the state capitol, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.